Your Coca-Cola bottler presents Claudia, based on the famous play and novels by Rose Franken. Brought to you transcribed Monday through Friday by your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. Relax, and while you're listening, refresh yourself. Have a Coke. And now, Claudia. Mm, I... I thought I just turned it off. It's on my night table. I'll turn it off, darling. Oh, it does. It's ring and ring and ring and ring. Mm. What time did it ring just now? Oh, it could be almost any time. It could be 2 a.m., 6 a.m., 8 a.m., 10 a.m. It better be 8 a.m. or I'll throw it out the window. If I could only open my eyes, I'd... Just one or the other, I'd tell you. Hmm. It's 8 o'clock. Oh, thank goodness. I was afraid it might be six o'clock again. How long is the baby going to be on this nocturnal routine? Seems to me like all we do is go to bed and get up and go to bed and get up. Isn't it wonderful? What's wonderful about it? Oh, I've always loved kissing you good night. Even better, I love kissing you good morning. And as long as the baby has so many feedings, I get so many chances to say good night and good morning. That is small compensation. <laughs> I'm starting to feel like an owl. Good morning, owl. Good morning for the umpty ump time. That was the worst part of being in the hospital, wasn't it? Why is what? Nobody to say good morning to. I missed you so in the morning. Mm, me too. I want to have lots of babies, but why can't I have them at home where you are? There's lots to be said for the nice old-fashioned way. This is no time to discuss our future offspring. I haven't recovered from this one. I think now, with my newly acquired knowledge, that it's going to take me many, 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 many more months I'm to... I'm so re- glad you're enjoying it, too, darling. What? No. Oh. Well, I suppose it's time to get up. I'm exhausted. Yes, that proves it's time. I better put on a hustle, too. Hmm. i got to get to the office and back to work bright and early. Work? What's that? Oh, I've almost forgotten. <laughs> I almost feel as if I should take a refresher course in architecture. <laughs> I have sorely neglected buildings for babies these last two weeks. Darling, if you're half as good at architecture as you are at babies, you'll be a raving success. Well, it's getting late. I shall pull my poor, aching body into the shower. Darling, don't worry about a thing except getting yourself dressed and down to the office. I've got everything all arranged so you can get dressed and shaved and breakfasted without even knowing there's a baby in the house. That will be quite a novel experience. Uh Uh-huh. But thanks for the thought, darling. It certainly is appreciated. Mm. Call me when the coffee's on, Mama. Not, not if you persist in calling me that, I won't. Now, he's a cute little funny face. Are you still asleep? You are, eh? <laughs> Getting born must certainly be an exhausting experience. You just stay where you are, and I'll be back in a second. I'm going to get your father's breakfast ready, okay with you? Oh, you're all wet again. Honestly, am I going to have to change you every ten minutes? Oh, all right, I'll take you into the bathroom. Remember, we have to stay out of your father's way. Hey, Claudia! Shh! You want to wake him up? Claudia! David, what is it? Hey, Claudia, have you seen my shaving cream anyplace? Of course I have. It's in the medicine chest. There's nothing in the medicine chest but baby things, and I refuse to shave in olive oil. Take another look. I'm coming. But I can't come any faster. I've got the baby in my arms. What are you bringing him in here for? He's wet. I've got to change him. I thought I was going to shave. Claudia, can't you wait a second? Can't you wait a second? Can't he wait a second? The damage is done. It'll only take me a second. Well, all right. But first, tell me, where's my shaving stuff? In uh, the medicine chest. Now look for yourself. Oh, I remember. Now I was putting the baby's things in. Your stuff was in the way, so I put it in a box. Mm, where's the box? Uh, the box is on top of the medicine chest. I can see that I'm taking second place already. Darling, I can't stand here with him in my arms forever. Shove over. Mm, all right. Here, you hold the pins. A human pin cushion. <laughs> Try becoming. It would certainly be good to get back to the farm where we each have a bathroom. The baby feels the same way about it. You're making him feel unwanted. Good, well, good. Problems. Darling, listen, I have an idea. Don't you think while we're here at Mama's, it'd be easier if you shaved at night? I have been waiting for this. 
Well, wouldn't it be easier? By three o'clock in the afternoon, I'd look like a, a tramp. Would you? Mm-hmm. You don't look like a tramp now. Besides, I like you when you look like a tramp. <laughs> Thanks. You're awfully proud of your beard, aren't you? I am. Still, I think you ought to shave at night. I've always liked you shaving at night. You shaved at night on our honeymoon, remember? Uh, that was different. Why is a honeymoon one thing and a marriage another? I think it should be all one. That's because you're a woman. Mm. Say, aren't you through wrapping up that offspring of ours? Yep, I'm through. Now, come on, sweetie, you get back in your carriage. Your father is turning you out. You bet I am. He never even woke up. Wonderful. <laughs> have a nice shave, darling. Wish I could stay and watch. That's one thing I have him to be grateful for. Don't let us disturb you anymore, David. Just try and disturb me. Now, there you are, Scoopums. Get back in your carriage. Now, listen, Scoop. You sleep tight, and for heaven's sakes, don't interrupt your father. I don't want him to build up a resentment against you. rock a bye baby, on the treetop. La, 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 la. Good morning, Mama. Good morning, Mama. Good morning, Mama. You? Are you up finally? Oh, are we up finally? That's a fine question. Of course we're up finally. We've been up finally practically all night. What are you doing up? I'm percolating the formula and boiling the coffee all the other way around. I don't know which. My goodness, look at this kitchen. What hit it? Your two-week-old son. Now get out of my way. Get out of your way. Get out of David's way. Mama, let me help. How's David this morning? Very busy getting himself off to the office. What's so busy about that? Well, this is the first Monday morning with the baby home. I like to have coffee and everything on the table ready for him. Why the sudden burst of punctuality? Psychology, Mama. You wouldn't understand. Maybe if you explained it to me just in simple terms, I'd understand. Men are different than women. They like things the way they always were. And that's the way I'm going to try and keep them. That's a noble ambition. David deserves noble ambitions. And don't you ever forget it. I don't see why one extra baby in the house should complicate things too much to you. That's all the baby has done so far, but that's to be expected, too. Hey, Claudia! Oh? What's happened now? Hey, Claudia! The call of the wild, you better answer. What is it, David? Where are my socks? In the drawer in your dresser, darling. They are not. Of course they are, but not in the top drawer anymore, in the bottom drawer. No wonder I couldn't find them. What are they doing in the bottom drawer? Well, I had to put the baby's things someplace, so I put them all in the top drawer. The baby's things should be in the bottom drawer. He's a lot shorter than I am. I thought you weren't going to change things. It doesn't count when it's a change to make things simpler. David, have you found them, darling? I'm just looking. See, there they are, right where I said they should be. Have I been relegated to one drawer? Nope, you have two. Plenty of room for your things. Any complaints? Mm -hmm. What's the use? <laughs> Coffee's perking, darling. So any time you're ready, you Two just... minutes. See, it's working out perfectly, isn't it? You hardly know you have a son, now, do you? No, just barely. Well, I'll go put the eggs on. Don't rush. The eggs won't be cooked enough. I don't think I'll have time for eggs. Now, listen, you make time for eggs. It's bad enough you're going to work without sleep. You can't go without eggs, too. Mama, quickly, put on some eggs. Put them in what? In a pan with some boiling water. I have no more gas burners. They're all being used. Oh, dear. What about the oven? Claudia, David wouldn't like his eggs baked. Well, why don't you throw the eggs in with the boiling bottles? The eggs won't spoil. Fine for the bottles, because all this boiling business is over my head. I didn't boil your bottles for 20 minutes, and you survived. Hmm. Seems to me that the main thing modern science has done about babies is complicate them. How's David doing? So far, so good. He'll be in in a second. Oh, Mama, put the eggs in someplace just so they cook. Hurry up. Well, Grandma, top of the morning to you. And the same to you. I'm sure this is all a frightful mistake. I'm sure it's only six o'clock in the morning and we're acting as if it's eight. <laughs> Give me my breakfast. I'll not complain. Sit so down in the dining room, David. The orange juice is on the table. Well, here we are, eating breakfast just like any other morning. Before the earthquake. Mama, leave those bottles alone and come in here and have breakfast with us. Here I am, with the coffee. Good. Well, the day certainly begins with a bang, doesn't it? <laughs> I don't see why everybody's complaining. Cream, David? Thank you. 
Hey. Hey, is this cream? It's as good as. Now, don't turn up your nose at it. Well, what is it? Won't hurt you. It's good for you. Uh, what is it? It's condensed milk. Why is it condensed milk? Because it's not cream. Who's been drinking the cream? Nobody has. There isn't any. Oh, we forgot. I'll take my coffee black. You will not. It'll upset your stomach. Put in the condensed milk. I don't like condensed milk. You ought to learn. Lots of people like it better than cream. I suppose you're going to say that if it's good enough for your son, it's good enough for me. Hmm? Well, isn't it? No. (laughs) Drink it anyway. Mm, Just this once. Oh... Everything's going perfectly. Oh. I'll go see what it is. Mama, stay where you are. We are having breakfast. Oh, maybe I better go see. I'll be right back. You stay where you are. You have your breakfast with David, Claudia. I'll see what it is. Uh, don't stop her, Mother. She'll be so disappointed with herself. She wanted to have this morning go well. <laughs> don't you want your eggs, David? No, I'll just run along. Look what time it is. You, you, you both have enough on your hands as it is. Well, you're, you're sure you'll pick up something to eat on your way downtown? Yeah, I'll have it uh, sent up to the office. I'm, I'm late now. So long, Mrs. Brown. So long, Mr. Norton. Oh, such a to-do about breakfast. Claudia, is everything all right? Yeah, but everything's fine. He's just having a bad dream, I suppose. David, are you eating your breakfast? David. He left. He said he was late. Why, he hasn't had his breakfast. He promised he'd have something on his way to the office. He just went? Just like that? I'm to deliver a kiss. Oh, Mama, this isn't the way I planned. He knows. He'll get used to it. Oh. But I've always said goodbye in the morning. He might still be waiting at the elevator. Mama, you go see the baby. I'm going to try and catch David. I may have two men now, but David was the first. After all, first come, first served. Hey, David. David. David, don't go till I said goodbye. Yes. First come, first served. Any talk of a party in your house, uh, your club, or your church? Better plan for plenty of Coke, no matter what else goes on the refreshment list. If you provide guests with the pause that refreshes, you've started them off toward a good time. Whether it's in your own home or at a community affair, serving ice-cold Coca-Cola expresses hospitality in terms that folks understand and like. Well, David got off to the office all right, Mr. King. Yes, a little the worse for the wear. Yes, but it won't hurt him. By the way, I don't think I've heard you mention the name of the baby yet. We haven't mentioned it. We haven't chosen it yet. Not yet? Why, he's over two weeks old. I think trying to find the right one is in the back of all our minds. Maybe we'll come to some agreement tomorrow. Hmm... Got any idea of what it'll be, Mrs. Brown? Well, whatever David and Claudia want. And I never have any idea of what that is. Well, I'll certainly be around tomorrow to find out for myself. Goodbye till then, Mrs. Brown. Goodbye, Mr. King. As I was about to say, every day, Monday through Friday, Claudia comes to you transcribed with the best wishes of your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. So listen again tomorrow at the same time. And now this is Joe King saying au revoir. And remember, whoever you are, whatever you do, wherever you may be, when you think of refreshment, think of Coca-Cola. For Coca-Cola makes any pause the pause that refreshes. And ice-cold Coca-Cola is everywhere. These broadcasts are adapted for radio by Manya Starr. And the entire production is supervised and directed by William Brown Maloney. And now, here's a word from your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola.